So what you want to do is look at groups. You want to build communities. You can do that yourself with your own Facebook. If you've got a business Facebook page, then create a group and you can have it private or you can have it public. I would recommend that you do it private, but it's visible so that you are looking to, uh, if you're looking to recruit staff members, that's one way as well. So there's lots of groups that you can go into and build a community. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. You want to look at engaging with groups that are similar to what it is that you're looking to get business from. So healthcare, you can look at all different types of healthcare um, organizations that you will be getting work from, for example. I'm just going to drink my water. So you want to create an infographic about your services. Think about what the buyer, you're the supplier, but what is the buyer looking for? Who are they looking for? Now, you're on the phone. So when you're ringing on the phone, you're ringing care hubs, for example, like with my previous trainings where I talk about how to build a database, you then make a call. For example, it is hard for people to see you when it's a phone call. You know, the connection isn't as strong as what it would be if you was to see them face to face or if you was to communicate with them via social media. But like I said, there is a way of doing that. You don't just jump straight into it. There's a certain messaging, certain psychology, you've got to use the right methodology in order to get the work. So create an infographic. What is an infographic? It's like a, a brochure, really saying about what you do, just some simple steps about what it is you do what you can offer, what are the benefits of your organization? Why do you stand out? 